Good evening. Welcome to the broadcast. James with Team Finish Strong. Live streaming tonight, an event that I hope will yield some fruit for me, both in terms of fitness as well as finances. Um, it's the Seven Days of Tarmac, SL7, and we are on stage one tonight. And what we're looking to do is complete all three stages. And from what I understand, the description of the uh, event, if you complete all three stages, you are eligible to win an actual in real life Tarmac SL7. So that would be awesome. At least I, I hope it's in real life. You know, I didn't read the fine print. I wonder if it's a virtual bike. I don't know. You know, I better check. I better check the details before I work too hard tonight. Um, I think it's a real bike. They've done that in the past. So, hey, hey, hey Sonia, hey Emiano, thank you. You know, tonight's technically not a race, but you know how it goes. I'm probably going to turn this into a workout session tonight of sorts. Not a, a true race because there's no. There's no categories. It's 1.0 to 5.0. And since I am not at the apex of the Swift food chain, um, it makes no sense for me to try to hang with the big dogs. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this into some intervals. Uh, you know, I'm definitely going to smash the uh, leg snapper like uh, is, everyone is fond of doing. And I might throw a sprint in at the end. So you guys will have something to watch tonight. And um, more to the point of what I'm suggesting tonight is that if you're interested um, in specialized and a uh, new bike, feel free to, to join the event and uh, and take your chances at it. Um, hopefully, hopefully you'll have some uh, some luck. I'm hoping, Lord willing, that uh, I might be blessed with a new bike at the end of all this. That'd be great to have a new bike this year. You know, my uh, my money is uh, starting to show signs of uh, old age here. And the abuse that I've given it over the years from falling and whatnot. So um, it would be great to turn this into a, a strictly a trainer bike and get a new bike, but you know, only if Lord wells. So, but uh, so we're gonna give it we're gonna give it a try tonight. We're gonna give it some efforts, and uh, and we'll see how it goes. And. Uh, we are having some live stream issues. My apologies. Um, I still got a few minutes here to kill before the uh, event. So let me see if I can uh, if I can check this out. The internet these days is is a uh, a challenge for the en uh, network engineers. I'm sure to manage. All right, so we got about seven minutes left. I'm just gonna easy roll here until the event starts. If the uh, the live stream is working and the chat's working, feel free to uh, feel free to say hi in the chat. Let me know that you're here. And uh, don't forget to give the stream a uh, thumbs up. That'll definitely uh, help support the stream. And uh, appreciate you all joining me tonight. Hopefully, we'll be able to broadcast this all the way through to its conclusion and we don't have any uh any crazy any any more crazy network dropouts. I've been having pretty good luck with the uh the, the uh, power dropouts fortunately. I haven't had any race ending power dropouts in so long I can hardly remember. Now I gotta work on the internet. Alright. Just going to try to get some more kilometers in here. Um, since it's not a race and all the categories are mixed together, there's no point in trying to get to the starting line first. So I'm probably going to do some threshold efforts. I'll start off maybe with, some, with a threshold effort for maybe three to five minutes. Once things settle down to more of a tempo pace in the group that I happen to fall into. And then when we get to the late snapper, then we'll... Uh, We'll open things up. See if I can sustain. I'd like to be able to try to sustain 400 watts over over the top of the lake snapper from the, from the proper bottom of it, and uh, that'd be a good that'd be a good effort. I've been trying to work on more of my high end power lately. Um, I've been doing some 30 30s and uh, just trying to 
see if I can uh, keep the high end power. Seems like I've had lost a little bit at over the over the past year, focusing more on increasing my FTP and my aerobic capacity, which haven't seen a lot of fruit from that. So I just uh, let's see if I can maintain that anaerobic capacity. Still doing those big rides on the weekends. Still training for some uh, big rides coming up this year. I don't know why all my big rides are coming up uh, uh, coming up in the last quarter of the year. You know, 10,000 foot feet of climbing in one ride, and another ride it's 80 miles, 8,000 feet of climbing, and then potentially a, another 100th century ride that is going to be more of a race. In fact, it is a race. It's a legit race, in real life race. So, um, so our team is looking to try to get together and, and participate in that. 13 kilometer warm up. Well, actually, believe it or not, some folks, they warm up for a good 45 minutes. Um, I did some efforts to uh, get my heart rate up to where it needed to be, and I guess it worked out to about 13 kilometers. So, it's a good question, Dave. You know, um, I can tell you a short warm-up. A short warm-up is not advantageous. Um, I have gotten on the bike five minutes before an event and definitely paid for it with a lot of suffering. And here we go. We are heading over to the pen now. But, uh, so yeah, I try to put in, if it's an important event where I want to, where I know I'm going to have to do some efforts, I try to get about 30 minutes of warm-up in. And if it works out to 13 kilometers or so, it's sometimes it's less than that. Sometimes it's less. The longer the event, the less, uh, the less I feel the need to warm up. So, this one's going to have some painful points on it. Painful points. So uh, I did. Uh, I did chicken out. I did. Uh, I only chose the uh, C version, the shortest version of the uh, first stage. I did not look at doing the UCI uh, World Lap. Wasn't interested in that tonight. That's, uh, that's quite an effort. There's, been, there's just going to be too many events back to back for, for me and the level of uh, the volume of training and uh, racing I can do in uh, in a given time frame. So I, I try to, as you guys know, I try to do racing about once a week um, when I am racing uh, frequently. But with these longer rides on the weekends, I've been uh, spacing my uh, races out to once every couple of weeks or so. Um, so this week I kind of shortened my big ride on the weekend so I could get a little bit more efforts in here during the week. Um, so that I can uh, I can do well, I can feel well during the events. Yeah, I'm racing, Dave. To answer your question, I am racing in the uh, shorter race, the C race, the, the shortest race. It's technically uh, three kilometers longer, but it's like three or four hundred meters shorter, or something like that. So it's going to end up being shorter, I think, in duration. To be honest with you, less climbing for sure. Hey, Greg. Thank you, I appreciate it. We're going to try to keep this fun. I don't want to suffer so much that it, it stops being fun. So uh, we're going to turn this, like I said uh, earlier in the broadcast, we're going to turn this into more of a workout with some threshold efforts, some anaerobic uh, efforts, and, and probably a, a finishing sprint thrown in if my legs still feel good at all. So good to have you in the chat. Emiano, good to have you in the chat, Greg and Dave. And uh, we'll see how this pans out. We've got, uh, we're all on the uh, Tarmac SL7, the virtual one. So, there will be no bike advantage today, other than the fact that I probably could have maybe had a better wheel set. I don't know if it's possible to, it's a, is it possible to go in the garage and change the wheels out? It is. All right, I'm going to go with the 808s. A compromise here. All right, we'll try that. I don't know if that worked or not. That's about the only thing we can do. The only thing we can do here. All right, folks, we're down to last minute. Time to get the breathing going.
So uh, Santos is asking in the uh, in-game chat if it's a, a group ride or race. So someone says ride, another person says not a race. And Robert Nash says, I thought it was a race too. Okay, folks. Let's not kid ourselves here. You put a bunch of put a bunch of folks together. Uh, you give them a starting line, a finish line, and a timer, and uh, you will have you'll have a race every time, whether you want one or not. Oh, look! And Whiteside says it's a group ride. Look at that! It is a group ride. Look, they've got a they've got a ride leader. Okay. Maybe we've even got a fence. We might actually have a chance of this being a ride tonight. We might have a chance of this being a ride. Or everybody's going to lead, uh, leave Mr. Whiteside in the dust. All right, so I'm going to start my first threshold effort here. Okay, he's saying to stick together. All right. That's going to be interesting. I'm probably going to have to do some sag intervals then. I'll do sag intervals. Shouldn't, shouldn't affect things too much. Not trying to break these groups up. I actually did that one time on a group ride. I was doing some intervals from the back to the front of the group it was stretching the group out. I think a few people got mad at me. How do you set a pace anyway when it's 1.0 to 5.0? It's and it is the short one, Amiano. It's uh, three laps. So, Amiano, did they have a, uh, a ride leader for the A event? I guess it's pointless on such a long climb. Dave, it's a three more kilometers than the uh, the A ride, but a lot less climbing. Okay, these folks are really moving it. Okay, 41 minutes it is. No promises. I'm not turning this into a race. About 2.5 watts of kilo. That's right about where I want to be. Unless they push it up the inclines. may be true, Dave, but uh, will they follow me if I slow down? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't want to, uh, I got a really nice group right now. I may, 
the intervals of date will probably work themselves out because when we hit the uh, the grades, like what we're doing right now, the pace is going to naturally increase. So I'll probably be able to get my intervals in anyway. As you can see, this one lasts a little while, about a minute or two, I guess. So I'm hoping the undulations, Dave, will work in my favor. See, I'm pushing about what I want to be pushing right now in this interval. It's just right. in the group here and I am causing a break here a gap sorry guys I'm not trying to turn this into a vo2 max workout here Stuff. Hopefully, I have enough water. All right, first smash is coming up. A couple minutes. <clears throat> See the cobbles? No, it's close. Once the grade changes here, we're going to be back on again, probably. I wonder if the disc set might have been a better choice. start to climb early. Alright, here it goes. Thank you. 
trying to wait up for the group. That was a good effort. About the right, about the right pace. I wanted to set. Looks like the group disintegrated. Okay, I see they're way back there. Okay. I may just let them catch back on. Thank you, Greg. give myself a few minutes before I start the next interval. interval. Well, I have no choice if I want to stay in the group. Nice touch on the banner. I like that. Got another big group coming up. This is probably the group. Oh, am I out front now? No. Just appeared to be. Somebody's stretching it. There we go. That's a decent size. All right, one more minute and then I'll do my next interval here. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate the, uh, the ride-ons. I gotta find out how you guys do those. That's pretty cool. Like those icons. Looks like I'm starting my interval early.
myself a little break before the next one. This group is uh, getting huge. Maintain here. Look at how surgy this group is. I agree, Emiano. That's why I'm going to save a little bit here for the uh, next leg snapper. guys losing the group. He lost the group and I just barely caught back on. Yeah. Gonna take some snap out of the leg snapper. Not a lot of blue in my graph tonight. Not as much as I wanted. Thank you. 
here we go. Just gotta keep up the grip this time. Well, lost that group. Yeah, a lot of orange on this graph tonight. I'm gonna pick up the group behind me. So, here they come. Probably just do one interval this lap. I don't, I don't think I can do that. I mean, I'm talking about moving on up, bridging up. Give me a few more seconds here. I'll probably, uh, I may try to, but uh, they, were, they were moving kind of fast. See there? They're moving pretty fast even in the draft. Or maybe not. I, the numbers look pretty reasonable here, although that's the few people here in front of us. We're gonna merge with them anyway. Yeah, I think we're 
we're just going to merge with them as it is. I need a little recovery after that one. That last lap was pretty hot. somebody else will. Just when I get the idea, someone else does it. Good to have you in the chat, Fraggy. Yeah, C-Class is a, a distance thing rather than uh, a watts per kilogram thing in this event. Just means it's shorter. Here. So Innsbruck is a major city, okay. So how has uh, having or hosting the Worlds, UCI Worlds, um, changed the character of the city, if at all? Did it transform the city in any way? Just curious. Drag. 
try not to get dropped this time. Yes, it's best to try to pick your group, probably no later than three quarters away up the climb, so you have a chance to move up or, or fall back. Sometimes if you try to catch the group on the downhill, they'll have too much speed. So I'm not looking to attack on the climb. Just gonna hold position. We'll try to give it a, a nice sprint at the end. Ready for the last one. Well, no crash lift. Got too much invested. So, Aviana, I saw your last comment. Does that mean you're not going to get the, the uh, elite steer with steers out? Have you seen those videos? It looks interesting. Alright, got to get to work. to stay seated if I can. Well, maybe not. I think I'm going to make it. Or maybe I will.
Not quite spread away. All splintered. Gathering up contestants for the sprint. Big group coming up behind us. Take my chances in a bunch sprint any day over a uh, a solo break off the front. Like everybody's deciding to do the same thing. Do one more sprint on top of that one.
it's a hard one. Some talented sprinters there. Yes, very long. Which is why the lead man faded so fast. boys. I earned that one. All right. Thus ends the group ride race. All right. I just now start to talk here. Whew. Don't tell my wife. That was a new heart rate PR, I think. I hope that's a good sign. All right. Well, folks, no need to bore you guys with a cool down. We'll see you at the next one in two days, guys. That one, I've got to do with the social pace. So if you all want to team up and uh, ride together, let's do that. I'm riding on Wednesday, same time, 6 o'clock event. Okay, folks? Hope to see some out there, some of you guys out there. I'll enjoy riding with you, promise. No racing on Wednesday. And uh, God bless everyone. Have a great night. Take care. And finish strong.